Hey guys, Patrick Agnet here from thepix.com And just when we thought that we've already seen it all with the Chair Mobile M1 Which actually we've reviewed before Links up there um, But now Chair Mobile is back again with the Flare Infinity And the Flare Infinity, just like the M1, is mentioned in the premium devices category Fresh all metal build, powerful processor, at syempre bezel less display Pero sapat na ba yun para ma-justify yung price tag niya which is actually 12,999 pesos. So yeah, let's start. The Chair Mobile Flare Infinity definitely has some killer looks. The device is beautifully constructed in metal and yep, Sobrang kamukha siya ng mga iPhone 6 and 6S Lalo na sa kulin na to, which is the gray one At saka yung isa pa niyang color variant, which is gold So, actually, this device is only available in two colors At hindi lang yun yung rason kung bakit mukha siyang iPhone Yung curved edges, speaker grills, pati yung mga antena band sa likod Which, hindi rin ako sigurado kung lahat ba ito ay talagang antenas Or just for aesthetic purposes to promote symmetry Yun pa man, sobrang nagustuhan ko na medyo curved yung likod ng device Dahil tugma siya dun sa glass na nasa harapan. Plus, sobrang comfortable din siya hawakan. Yun nga lang, medyo mabigat ang device na to. Kaya medyo masakit siya sa kamay, lalo pag ginagamit mo siya ng matagal. And now, let us talk about this bezel-less display. Actually, meron pa rin naman talaga siyang bezels. Yun nga lang, this 2.5D glass that is on top of it, nagbibigay ng parang optical illusion effect that hides the bezels. But despite the pseudo effect, it made the Flare Infinity look very cool. At syempre, other than the bezel-less title, medyo maganda rin talaga yung quality ng display ng device na to. Meron tayong 5.5-inch Full HD LTPS display, which has a 1920x1080 resolution and has 401 pixels per inch. Now, needless to say, the screen is impressive. Colors are punchy and quite accurate. Contrast is decent and sharpness is really on point. Also, partnered with its MediaTek MT6755 Helio chipset na merong 2.0 GHz octa processor, 4 GB ng RAM, and a Mali T860 GPU. This thing is a really capable entertainment device. Sobrang bilis at sobrang snappy ng device na to. Mula sa day-to-day -day apps like Facebook, Instagram, social media browsing, at lalong lalo na sa mga games like SimCity, UFC, Asphalt 8, at maraming pang iba. The processor was able to handle all of them very very well. Plus, nakatulong din siguro yung Android 6.0 Marshmallow that is running on this device. Wala siyang any third-party skin like the Zen UI or any other shenanigans that other companies like to do with their devices. Also, yung speaker grill sa ilalim. Actually, kung makikita nyo, it looks like there are two speaker grills at the bottom. However, yung sa right side lang talaga yung actual na speaker. And the one on the left is actually the built-in microphone. Now, there are two things that I really like about this device. Una, yung inclusion ng USB Type-C port. Nakita na natin to before sa Cherry Mobile M1. And it is nice to see it again here. As it really means that Cherry Mobile is really pushing the Type-C implementation on all of its devices. Pangalawa, meron na rin tayong fingerprint scanner. Now, nakita na rin natin ito sa Chair Mobile M1. Yung nga lang, medyo iba yung sensor dito. It is now located at the right side of the device, just below the lock and power switch. Kaya medyo madali pa rin talaga siyang abutin. And another difference is, unfortunately, the performance. Sobrang natuwa ako sa fingerprint scanner ng M1, pero medyo iba yung storya dito sa Flare Infinity. There were occasions that the scanner doesn't recognize my fingerprint, which left me with no choice but to use the security patterns. Medyo madali lang siguro naman ito maayos pag meron ng lumabas na bagong software update. But until then, I think I'll be using the security patterns muna. The device has a 16 megapixel BSI PDAF camera with dual tone flash and a 5 megapixel front facing one. This is definitely not the best 16 megapixel sensor that I have seen on any device, but it was still able to get the job done. Sharpness and details are really there. Yun nga lang, colors are a bit on the saturated side. Contrast is okay, and dynamic range is surprisingly impressive. Kaya rin itong mag-shoot ng 1080p videos with the same quality as the stills. 
The quality of the photos that the 5 megapixel front facing camera can produce is also pretty standard. Maliwanag naman yung mga photos kaya okay siya for making video calls. Lalo sa mga lugar na medyo madilim. Yun nga lang, yung colors and sharpness is medyo nasa downside. Okay siya pang kuha ng mga selfies pero don't go crazy about it. At lahat ng mga bagay na ito ay magiging walang saysay kung mabilis malobat itong Flare Infinity. This device has a 3000 mAh non-removable battery which lasts for about 4 hours of screen on time at isang buong araw during light to moderate usage. So yeah, there you have it. Para sa presyo niya na 12,999 pesos, this thing really has a lot to offer. Mention 1080p at bezel-less na display, all metal build, Capable camera, capable battery, sobrang impressive na processor, of course a fingerprint scanner that kind of works. Meron din siya of course USB Type-C and overall a very satisfying device. However, I do get it. Para sa presyo na 10,000 at pataas, medyo marami pa rin talagang tao ang nag-aalangan na gumastos ng ganong alaking pera para sa local na brand. Of course, marami na tayong devices from Xiaomi, Huawei, Oppo. Sobrang dami na medyo competitive sa price range na to. Yun nga lang, tingin ko napatanayin na ng Cherry Mobile yung sarili nila in this past few months or even years. Plus, may mga features din naman itong Flare Infinity na wala sa iba. So, if you're really in the market on that sub-13 to 10,000 range na device, then I think the Flare Infinity should be on your list. So yeah, basically that's it. This is Patrick Agnetti again from MyPigX.com. You may hit the thumbs up button and share this video if you liked it. You can also subscribe if you still haven't. Plus for more detailed look about this device and other reviews, technology news, and tutorials, you can check out our website link below. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time.